we are still in the Mara and we've managed to find, of course we're not going anywhere still in the Mara, but I'm very excited, I can't talk, let's just show you quickly, and this is not something we get to see every day in South Africa, we have a lion in a tree. Now, this is definitely in the Angama pride, uh, there are seven cubs, Douglas, mm -hmm. seven cubs, we can't see all of them, some of them are in the long grass, um, but there are some cubs up in a shepherd's tree, and, uh, and then there are at least... So there's four adults and this females in this pride, seven cubs, and then there's a coalition of four adult male lions that uh, have sired these cubs. So this is definitely the pride of lions we're probably going to be spending a lot of time with. They are right below where our camp is, so this is very, a very exciting stuff. Oh, I might have to move the vehicle a little bit. There's another car coming. Let's just see if I have to move. Okay, we're all good here. Hi Phyllis, uh, Phyllis is wondering what's the time difference between uh, Juma and the Mara, uh, we are an hour ahead, so what time is it at Juma, I think it's what time is it eggs, it's quarter past four, it's quarter past four here, no, it's, quarter past five, eh? it's quarter past five here, so quarter past four at Juma, and uh, those lines are looking very very relaxed in the tree, I'm just going to get my binos up, so I, there are two cubs at least, um, at the lower, and I think there could be an adult up higher. One adult to the bottom and the right, and there's at least two to the left of the tree. Now, this is where we only saw one adult female this morning. Now, that doesn't mean the others weren't there. And so, this is a, an area where we, we are unable to 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 offer it at the moment. We're just going to stick. It's been lots of rain, so it's very stick, sticky and wet. So, we're going to keep our distance. There is also a report of a mating pair of lions that was seen earlier around. Not too far from here, but we definitely couldn't pass up at introducing you to the Angama Pride Cubs for the first time. It is absolutely spectacular. And there's very few ways to be able to describe this ecosystem. It is just mind-boggling. Well, Chai Connie is wondering how old do I think they are? Ooh, look at them playing in the tree! Sorry guys, getting sidetracked. Um, well, Chaikani, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have Douglas with me, so I can ask, um, how old are they, Douglas? Their the age is between 10 and uh, 13 months. So 10 and 13 months, so they're already quite big. Thanks very much, Douglas. Um, so uh, already, already quite big, as I said, they're quite far away. Whoopsie, I'm making a mess out, as always. But yeah, you can see what, uh, that female up on the left, eggs. Look at it, look how she's lying in that tree. Now, the main reason the lions of the Mara quite often will be found in trees and particularly um, at certain times of the year is due to all the biting flies and if they get a little bit of elevation and they get a bit of breeze and that helps a lot to alleviate all the all the bites and, and uh, what did you say, Sh shepherd's trees are their, their most favourite? Yeah, they love their shepherd's trees. There we go, so, yeah, shepherd's tree is their, their most favourite tree to climb regularly so isn't this splendid? Oh, down one goes. One of the little cubs is down. I'm gonna go greet. <laughs> John says, I love these lions already. They are absolutely spectacular animals, and we are, and they hunt. We saw one of the lionesses from this pride hunting by herself at 2 o'clock in the afternoon today while we're still doing tests, so it, it is incredible. And I think at this time of the year, they're, they're very active throughout the day. Uh, to, to describe the temperature at the moment, um, I'd say it's blissful. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's probably around 23 or 24 degrees Celsius. There's a light breeze. It is just magnificent weather. And being on the equator and being as high as we are, uh, you, you do experience sort of very temperate weather throughout the year. You don't have those massively big changes uh, during winter and summer like you do in, in, in southern Africa. Oh, there we go. Back up the tree. Oh, there's a tail. There's a tail. Are you going to attack the tail? See, uh, if I was a lion cub, I wouldn't be able to resist an adult's tail dangling in front of my schnoz. Oh, 
Isn't this splendid? Oh, yeah. Well, you never know. There might even be a lion higher in there that we can't see. Sherry's wondering if I've noticed any differences between the, the, the Juma lions and the Mara lions. Uh, not not, not out, outwardly. I, uh, some of the lions I've seen uh, seem a bit paler, uh, but that also just could be in contrast to the, the very green area that we're in now compared to, to what we see at Juma. But I wouldn't see any major contrast just yet. But of course, uh, the more time we spend, the better we're going to know these animals and uh, the more little nuances we're going to be able to see. Not climbing over each other. Oh, isn't this just magic? Oh, and I've even forgotten all oh, my housekeeping. Final Control is going to be upset with me. Remember, hashtag a Safari Live if you want to ask us any questions. I would love to hear from you. And we are live from the Mara Triangle in Kenya. And we're with the Angama Pride of Lions. And this is absolutely amazing what a way to have our first live drive we've had some maasai giraffe and just around the corner we've come across uh, what's going to be a really important pride of lions for us now i'm going to get eggsy to show you quickly um, where our camp is can we get it from here eggs so straight up that gully there so there we go so in that little gully up there that's where the new final control and everything's going to be so that's where we've driven down from and just get the lodge. So there's Angama Mara. And uh, so this this is that whole area between that the, the, the escarpment and where we are now is at uh, this lion's home range. And they do spread a little bit further to the, the north and south, but uh, they seem to be, well, since we've been here in this area all the time. Now, we're going to probably sit here for a little bit longer while we do that. Let's go back to the highly entertaining Commander Bond in his bush office.